It's my June 2022 vinyl update. Ahoy hoy everybody and this is early morning just got out baggy eyed Martin welcoming you to my June 2022 vinyl update. Um, so I've got half a dozen items that I haven't shown on my channel already and about a dozen or so that I have. So as usual I'll start with the stuff I haven't already shown. Uh, so first up is the new album by Bernard Butler and Jesse Buckley or Jesse Buckley and Bernard Butler is how it's credited. Uh, so, fan of Bernard's, through McCallum and Butler, to an extent his solo work and to an extent his suede work. Jessie Buckley, actress and singer, first came to fame, for want of a better phrase. She was on one of the TV West End talent shows. It was either Maria or um, Nancy. I think it was Nancy. I think it was I'll Do Anything that she was runner-up on, but it might have been um, How Do You Solve a Problem Like Maria. Uh, if you're not familiar, sorry. It's a both, there was a spate of BBC talent shows and an ITV one for Greece um, where they were finding cast members to appear in the West End in a particular role. So How Do You Solve a Problem Like Maria was casting Maria in The Sound of Music and... I'll Do Anything was casting Nancy in Oliver. Um, anyway, she was a runner-up on one of those. She had a successful career both on stage and on film, um, particularly probably the film Wild Rose, which I haven't seen, but in which she plays a singer. Uh, but she's lots of critical acclaim for that, but many other roles as well. Anyway, she teamed up with Bernard Butler and they've released this album which I haven't listened to yet I have it on CD as well um the appeal of buying both was it meant that I got a signed card for a pair of them I already had Bernard's signature but onto Jesse's so you'll see that in a second I think I think it's in here but I've heard good things about this oh, that's Jesse there with Bernard It. Yeah, so there's this signed card. So quite a simple signature from Jesse. Still nice to have. And it's on two discs, just black vinyl. Nice custom labels though. Uh, going back to Bernard, also he did some work with Duke Special as well that I'm very keen on <clears throat> that is for all our days at tear the heart by Jesse Buckley and Bernard Butler. Okay, so Record Store Day was the 18th. Beginning the 18th for a week, HMV held a, I think they called it just their vinyl week, and they released a number of special edition coloured vinyl versions of some popular albums. And looking on there, um, I've Although I, you know, subscribe to HMV, having bought many times from them online, I never got anything through about this. Um, but Craig Huntley kindly pointed me in the right direction. And I picked up a couple of titles. One, because I needed it for the collection anyway. And one is an album I enjoy, and it's a very pretty vinyl, which is this one. So this is Happy Mondays, Pills, Frills and Belly Aches. This is a gatefold, so I shall take it out of the shrink. Yeah, that's not an issue. So, they come with an Obi-type strip. 
because it's the 100th anniversary of HMV that they're celebrating, although that was last year. And nice gatefold. In a sleeve. So it's a transparent yellow splatter. Interestingly, the splatter is really only on that side. So when you look on that side, you're just seeing the back of the splatter. I've never had that before. Normally it is, you know, splatter on both sides and different, therefore different patterns. But it's very pretty. And then the other one was an album that I didn't have in my Kinks collection. So this is Face to Face. Uh, limited edition Violet Colour Vinyl, their fourth studio album released in 1966. Includes Sunny Afternoon. Yeah, always have, to, always have to double check between Sunny Afternoon and Sunday Afternoon, which is Kinks, which is Small Faces. Sunny Afternoon and Daisy. Sorry, Dandy. Quite like a bit of a sticker has that image on it. Uh, so yeah, they're, they're calling this violet. I'm just calling it purple personally. Same colour as many of my purple vinyl records. But yeah, an, a Kinks album I needed for my Kinks collection. So that was a instant yes please. Okay, next up is a somewhat controversial record. Um, I haven't listened to it yet and I, I've heard snippets of some of the tracks and I think I understand why there's much derision of this album, but I am a fan of the artist in question and I collect Beatles covers and this is Leo Sayer's new album, Northern Songs, Leo Sayer Sings the Beatles. So yes. The general consensus on this is that it's terrible. But we shall see. I've a, I'm not going to say it definitely is until I've heard the whole thing. A signed print with it. The first double album, it's not a gatefold sleeve. I like the artwork on it. It's just black vinyl. Yeah, so I should go into it expecting it not to be very good and that might mean that I can enjoy it a bit more than people who had hopes for it. Okay, uh, let's have a slurp of coffee. Because my mouth was drying up. Um, I pre-ordered a few months ago. Let's get the record label right. Uh, last night from Glasgow, which is a Glaswegian record shop who have a label as well. Uh, they were releasing the only album by the audience, more on which in a second. Um, so I pre-ordered that. It was due out last week, uh, having been delayed once with all the printing press hoo-ha. And they sent an email. There was four colours to choose from. Um... Black, white, blue and pale blue. And I ordered for pale blue. And I received an email a few days ago saying they'd received the album. However, they hadn't received any pale blue. There was a delay on the pale blue, again, because of all the printing press problems. But they will happily transfer it to either the black, white or blue. Um, and Or you can wait. And if you did change it, they'll chuck in a freebie as well. So I, they said they they had all their all their stock in, 
but they had fewest of a, of the blue. But I I replied saying, "Oh well, I'll take a blue." Um, and it's come and it's come with a freebie, and my freebie is this album. So this is Had a Bee with Another Life. Um, clearly a Scottish band. No idea stylistically what it will be. Not getting much of a clue from the image of them. Guessing female vocalist. Oh uh, yes. Bass and sound effects, guitar and piano, drums, percussion, back backing vocals. Yeah, could just be indie rock. Uh, could hit me in the eye. This is just black vinyl. But yeah, always interested to hear unknown bands. That's you know, one of the reasons for my Reckless Yes subscription. Okay, so the Audience, which is the album that I paid for that came in that package, uh, were an indie rock band, Britpop basically, um, who had reasonable success with a song called A Pessimist Is Never Disappointed. That was about it, but they were very well loved in the indie press um, and received a lot of coverage, mainly because their lead singer was the daughter of a former Blue Peter presenter. That former Blue Peter presenter was Janet Ellis and the lead singer was, of course, Sophie Ellis Baxter. So I've never heard this album. I knew A Pessimist Is Never Disappointed from the time, but never got around to getting this album. It was before, obviously, I became a fan of Sophie's. Um, yes, she is young Sophie. So um, it is has been re-released on CD and it's sort of it's on my Amazon wish list. But again, I've never just got round to ordering it. Um, but when this was announced, I announced I jumped on it. So it's been done with full cooperation of uh, Billy Reeves from the band. And it's on two discs. So he's written a nice piece. About this edition, uh, it's on two, as I say, it's on two discs, the second disc, obviously. Nice solid blue vinyl. Um, I'm 99% certain that it's an expanded edition, so it's the album plus B sides, I would guess. I, yes, I'm not 100% on that, so I might be wrong, but I think that's what it is. But yeah, nice to have that. So that does mean I do have every Sophie Ellis Bexter album in some form or another. Uh, sort that afterwards. Okay, so that's the stuff I haven't shown. So I will quickly whiz through the stuff I have already shown. So I did an unboxing for this. Um, most of you who watched it will know it has come damaged, uh, dented in the corner there and all the spines. I did say in the video that I wasn't going to bother about it and I was going to keep it. Uh, having stewed on it a few days and then being nagged by people in the comments to that video, um, I have put in a claim for it, which has been no problem whatsoever. They've dispatched a replacement. I've had an email this morning saying it's been dispatched. So as soon as that's comes I will package up this and return it because I got rid of the original packaging thinking I was keeping it. Um, but yeah this is Queen the Platinum Collection so this is basically greatest hits one two and three two discs for each on coloured vinyl and I got this as a counterpart to my studio collection coloured vinyl box set and because Greatest Hits Free has tracks that aren't on the studio albums. I was very kindly sent by some VCRT by Stephen. Uh, which, again, I did an unboxing video for. So, in it was... Sigrid's Sucker Punch. Which I have to show the vinyl on because it is gorgeous. So 
none of these I've listened to yet. Uh, Lissy's Back to Forever. The Bowie Legacy, or Bowie Legacy, however you want to say it. I, I chop and change personally, mainly Bowie. Compilation. Uh, Michael Jackson plus for Jackson 5, 18 greatest hits. Uh, Celeste, not your muse. There's a signed art card in this. And the best of Bond, James Bond. Three disc, yeah, three disc compilation of all the Bond themes. So thank you once again, Stephen. Um, again, unboxing four. The new Prince release, Prince and Revolution Live. Uh, so this is obviously the standard vinyl three disc edition. I've listened to the CD. I bought a CD box set. I've listened to the CD. Haven't watched the Blu-ray yet and haven't listened to the vinyl. It's not one that I've, you know, rushed to put on because I've known this concert you know, like the back of my hand I can do all the speaking bits if you like you know it's very well known to me uh, listening to the CD it has been remastered it's definite improvement the proper, there's a couple of things that were sort of more noticeable to me one was you could hear the crowd which you couldn't really before um, secondly there's horns on some songs were more uh, prominent but you know there was some tracks I thought, oh I didn't realise there were horns on that live so yeah definitely worth the remaster just for that uh, but I did also and again this had its own unboxing get me deluxe edition box set through the print store uh, so this contains the vinyl but it's on coloured discs red blue and gold no red purple and gold sorry uh, then it has the CDs and the Blu-ray and it has an extended book and it has a poster and then finally my record store day drop two June drop whatever you want to call it pickups um, Supergrass is moving 12 inch EP six tracks on blue vinyl uh, best of a fun boy three on green vinyl Peter Gabriel's Live Blood, 3LP set on red vinyl. And the one thing I have listened to, my favourite album of all time, Prince's The Gold Experience on... So it says on two gold LPs. Now this is the European pressing and it is on basically a marbled orangey yellow vinyl rather than being true gold it's meant to be a replica of a promo release from 1995 which came on translucent gold in the US this release this reissue for record store day is on translucent gold why it's different in the EU I don't know um, I have ordered a US pressing as well to have the translucent gold version but this, as I say, it's my favourite album of all time. It's a masterpiece, in my opinion. Okay, so that's my pickups for June, uh, July. As you, as you know, you saw, I haven't done any um, pre-loved vinyl shopping this month because I had, you know, because Record Store Day. I've also got Comic Con coming up, so I'm saving for that. So that's uh, 9th of July. I'm going to that. Um, so. I'm still saving for that basically although I've, I think I'm okay because I've had so many people cancel that I'm going to be able to spend my vouchers on the autographs um but anyway you don't need to hear about that but then I am also saving I've got a little holiday in London to see Divine Comedy over five nights coming up at the end of August beginning of September so I'm saving a bit for that because I want to hit the London record stores whilst I'm in London um, so I'm not expecting 
where this is heading. I'm not expecting July to be a mega month, apart from any pre-orders I've got coming. But we shall see. I've said that before and ended up with shitloads. Um, thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in another video. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.